Hello again painters and welcome back. It's Debbie from acrylicpouring.com and today we're carrying out point, uh, part two of our dimethicone trials. So yesterday we tried the um, KY True Feel lubricant and this is 100% dimethicone and this created cells straight out of our flip. We've also got the coconut milk and I'm going to do this one on the third day. And so today we have our Astro Glide Infinite Pleasure. Let's hope so. Okay, so um, I'm going to add a little bit of this to each of my paints. Let's see what we've got here. So I've got a magenta, a cobalt blue, a lemon yellow and a titanium white. This one is a little bit different to the one that we tried yesterday because that one was liquid. This one is like a gel, but I am just able to squeeze out one drop. There we go, in each cup and we'll see how that does. So this is the one that I'm using today. And I'm going to give that a stir in. So this one is not 100% dimethicone. I will bring it over now and um, have a look at the ingredients. And this one, yeah, okay. It was sitting on the top a little bit, but now it's stirring in. Because it is a, an oil, so you do have to stir it into these. That yellow looking a little thick. Yeah, maybe needs a little spot more water in there. Give that one another quick stir up. They do um, thicken up a little bit from the time that I seem to stir them to the time sometimes I'm ready to pour. So there we go, I think that's good. So we've now got one drop of the um, dimethicone in each. The ingredients for this one are dimethicone listed as number one, then cyclomethicone, which is similar, dimethicone vinyl dimethicone cross polymer, and coconut oil. So it's got a lot of dimethicone and cyclomethicone in it and a little bit of something else. So same as we did yesterday, I'm going to create a flip cup for these. So I'm just going to layer the colours in twice, half the white and maybe some pink and a bit of a mess there and some yellow. I didn't enjoy the colours that I used yesterday. Um, I used that green and I'm never a big fan of green so although the um, the cells came through just fine I didn't actually like the end result yesterday. So I picked some nice brighter colours today and I'm hoping these will make me feel happier. I'm going to put lots of them in there because again I didn't quite have enough paint yesterday either. So today I'm making sure I've got more paint. I'm loading them in with lots of height and velocity so as the paint goes in there remember we spoke a little bit about the um, rally tailor instability with paints and how when you accelerate paints of different density over each other they create cells so that's what we're hoping to do today and the um, dimethicone in there helps in that process it helps the paints move over and amongst each other that little bit more and of course we can torch it in addition if we want to, to um, help it move even more and create more cells. But let's just see what we're going to get straight out of our flip cup today. So there we go, almost done. And the last of the blue. So I've got more paint today so I won't have to pour um, to tip as much. So we'll see what happens. And I seem to like the colours more, although the blue and the yellow I can see have already mixed to make plenty of green in there. So whether I'm going to like the end result or whether it's still going to be too green for me, I don't know. But let's give it a try. Okay, are you ready for the flip? Here's our cup today. You can see there's already some cells forming in the cup so that we know that the dimethicone is doing its thing. So I'm going to tip that over. Just leave it for a minute for our heavier white titanium on the top to drain its way through these other colours and help with the cell making process and then I'll come back in just a minute. Okay, are you ready for the big reveal? Let's go for it and let's see what this infinite pleasure is going to do for us today. I'm a little bit off centre with my flip there. Okay, I'm going to get a stick, just make sure I get all of this painty goodness out the cup here. Help me fill in some of these corners a little bit more. And while we're doing that, any cells hopefully are developing in our paint there. Okay, 
and will you look at that despite me trying to avoid green like I did yesterday the yellow and the uh, blue have mixed quite a lot together and I've still got a lot of green but that's always the way so I've got a little bit of runoff here where I wasn't quite on my game with the flip so I'm just going to pick this up and make the most most of it while our cells are developing here in the middle as I use this to encourage our paint to flow on the canvas. Even these little areas here in the corners where I've um, just, uh, the paint that was in the cup where I've laid that out onto the canvas, that's looking good too. So I think that the methicone is definitely working. We've got some great big cells. We've got, um, you know, have you ever seen the ones that look kind of like a brain MRI scan? We've definitely got those going on here today. Very interesting where you get kind of multi-layered ones and they have little kind of dimples in around the outside. I really like those ones. Very um, unusual. Very interesting looking. Okay, so I think we are good to go. It doesn't even look as though we need to torch it, but maybe in the name of science and uh, true exploration of the differences, we should do anyway. So I'll give it a little torture in this area and let's see what happens. Well, that pink is nice. It's the only little bit of pink there I've got. hit it with the torch has been a lot of difference there first of all there was lots of little white specks coming up but then we've got lots more tiny tiny cells of all kinds of different colors here so this looks really good so I think I just clear some of these things out the way a little bit we are ready for the tip so I need to probably zoom you out just a little bit give me a little bit of space to move things around and let's tilt and let's see if I'm gonna end up with another green painting despite my best efforts today it looks like a mite. <laughs> so we'll also see if we tilt a lot, whether we get the, the cells um, breaking up. It doesn't look like it. They look as though they're staying today, which is good. I like this little area here, so hopefully we can try and retain some of that. Good. And my last corner. So I had a bit more paint today, so I've got a little bit more to play with. I'm going to end up with a lot more on my desk, so maybe I can do some nice dipping with the uh, with the spillage in just a moment. Okay. Check the corners are good. They're looking perfect. I've definitely got enough paint here today. So I'm just going to go and wash up, and then we'll take a look and see what it looks like. So we've got lots of really big cells in this one today. Um, I've got a little bit here where the canvas is so showing through here and here. So where the dimethicone has um, created like a little resist area on the canvas. So I'm just going to pick a little something up off the side and fill in those areas. Let it dribble down. Just got a little one over there. Otherwise, it's, I think it's good. I will make sure that I look all the way around the canvas later on for any other areas like that. Like that. But of course, that's um, one of the hazards if you're going to use any kind of silicon or oil in your painting, that you may end up a little bit where the oil touches the canvas and um, just prevents the paint from sticking. So, we need to experiment again. I'm just going to run my torch over, see if we get any more activity here. So 
so I did get more cells popping up there, lots more small cells, which is what I actually didn't expect that because normally once I have torched and then tilted, um, if I torch again, I don't normally get much in addition. So that was a bit of a, a surprise to see some of these smaller areas developing. So I think I'll run the torch just maybe a little bit here. Yep, definitely as I do that with this one, um, I'm getting more cells come up through, a lot more smaller areas. So let me bring the camera down now and you can take a look at this uh, end result. So I'm definitely seeing some differences with this one today. You remember when I mentioned about the um, dimethicone causing a, a resist, so you can see the canvas coming through, but also very much on the sides. You see here and here and uh, on the corner here. So um, although I only added you know, one small drop in each one, it is creating little areas like this where the paint isn't sticking to the canvas as well. So I'm gonna have to go back with a, a brush or my palette knife and just fill in those areas but otherwise you know we've got lots and lots of cells we've got really really big cells and they continue to develop and they continue to um, form and stay together as I tipped the painting so definitely it works if you want to create cells you wouldn't need to torch because I got almost all of this activity here um, just by the um, just when it came out of the cup I did torch and get some extra but you could probably do really nicely, even if you didn't want to torch by using this brand of Dimethicone. I will need to just fill in those little bits, and I don't know whether that's maybe just um, a one-off, or whether you would always find that with this brand. But I think you can say that definitely it works if you want to create cells. This one works too. So let me bring this one across. This was Astroglide and it works to create great cells. So there we go, just a few more looks at this one. And the overall. So although it's worked to create the cells that we're looking for, again, I've not done the best in terms of color scheme. I've ended up with a lot of green, which I shouldn't have been surprised at when I mixed blue and yellow, but it still surprises me sometimes. I really wanted the blue and yellow, and I've got some, but I also ended up with a lot of green, and I don't think um, with, the, with the pink missing, I think in a lot of places it's not the most attractive painting. So this is another one I'm gonna scrape and reuse this canvas, and um, I'll see you in the next video for part three, where we're going to use the dimethicone from the coconut milk hair product. See you in the next video.